Hi Ron, before we go, fossil on today, Julian Thompson from Out There Learning is going to tell us a little bit about his channel. It's a channel about geology and fossil hunting in New Zealand and really worth watching. There's so much good information in there. Thanks so much Mornay. Hi everyone, my name's Julian Thompson and I also live here in New Zealand. And I am a geoscience educator and science communicator. So I really love to share my passion for the landscapes and geology of this beautiful country. In particular, I like it when I can sort of make someone freshly and newly aware of something that they never knew before. Something about the beauty and the awesomeness of nature here in New Zealand. As you know, New Zealand is on a plate tectonic collision zone. So we have two enormous tectonic plates colliding. It kind of goes right through the country. And so because of that, we have amazing variety of very active landscapes and an amazing geological story to tell from lots of different places and lots of different perspectives. We have incredible mountain ranges with glaciers and huge erosion processes is going on. We have wild coastlines, we have faults and earthquakes happening, we have active volcanoes as well. So we've got a lot of things going on here in this very busy country and on my YouTube channel I try to get out to some of these places to share the love, to show you what's going on and to show you how and why things are the way they are in terms of geology and the landforms that we see. So I also partner with many geoscientists around the country who share their research in all aspects of geology in New Zealand and occasionally I get overseas or out and about beyond the country into places like Antarctica and the Southern Ocean. Uh, so some of my videos uh, cover those areas as well. Erupts and, and so on behalf of all the people who have helped me make these videos and also those who have shared their videos with me on this channel, um, I'd like to invite you to have a look at Out There Learning on YouTube and if that's your thing, really look forward to seeing you there. Thanks again, Mornay. It's incredible what you do. Bye, everyone. We're in a Cretaceous area today, so dinosaur aged. And just look at all these bellum nights over here. This place has got thousands and thousands of bellum nights. And in amongst them there's bones, plesiosaur bones, plesiosaur teeth and shark teeth. We're gonna have a look around, see what we can find. I haven't been here in like years. So I'm trying to get my eye in again. There's a tiny bit of bone sticking out here. Nothing showing on the other side though. I see a little bit of petrified wood sticking out here. There you go. Not a great piece, but that's a little bit of petrified wood. This place is absolutely covered with little bits like that. Hoping to find a round, like that other large round I found uh, probably four years ago close to this area, not quite here, but not very far away. 
there's definitely no shortage of bellum nights around here every second rock is just full of them and in amongst them there's bits of bone and shark teeth like in this one so it's over here on the edge right over there that's a bit of bone sticking out there in a bed of belemnites it's only a fragment so it's not worth prepping but if we carry on looking we'll definitely find something worth prepping Here's another beautiful piece of bone in there. It's got a bit of a shape to it. It's in a really, really large rock. Yeah, beautiful to see though. Wonder what that notch at the bottom there could be. It's kind of got a V shape to it, so maybe someone will recognize it. Guessing plesiosaur, mosasaur, something like that seems to be what's around here. Be awesome if it's a dinosaur. <laughs> hey, I see a Cretaceous shark tooth. <laughs> there it is. Uh, assume it's a shark tooth and not a plesiosaur. But yeah, it's definitely a tooth in there. That's pretty cool. Found a, a seal cave. <laughs> There's a seal sitting inside there. I think it's a young one. As long as he doesn't charge out at me, it's all good. <laughs> Seals can move quite fast when they want to. Especially with you between them and the ocean. I see a little bit of bone sticking out just behind this big rock on screen now you should be able to see it I'm hoping it's a paddle bone I haven't looked at it yet but maybe maybe it is there it is just behind that gray rock let's see uh, yeah yeah that looks like a paddle bone so from a plesiosaur or a mosasaur and that's the perfect size to take back <laughs> That's a cool little one. Here's a very interesting bone, yeah? I found this rock down in the water, so I've just carried it onto this rock. And there's a very long, thin bone up top here, and I'm trying to figure out what bone that could be, if it's a plesiosaur. No, I haven't figured that out yet. It almost looks as if there was a break over there, or a joint between these two bones, but yeah, that's a, that's a very long, flat bone. It reminds me more of something a bird would have than a plesiosaur. Just waiting to hear back from the museum if it's worth taking back because it's a 20-25 mm, kilogram rock. It's doable, but don't want to do it if it's not worth it. Something you don't see every day. A seal in a tree. <laughs> that gave me such a fright. I was not expecting <laughs> a seal up there. 
There's a really nice piece of petrified wood sticking out of this bank. It's a decent size. So let's see if we can get it out. Not a bad size. Beautiful piece of petrified wood. You can see the the growth lines over there. Here, zoom in a bit. And you can see them there. Nice. Well, here it is, that big rock I carried all the way home. 24.7 kilograms, which is about 55 pounds, I think, give or take. <laughs> it was quite a carry. I was really tempted to leave it, but yeah, not sure what that bone is. And I really want to see. Yeah, I really want to see what that bone is. It definitely looks like a break over there. There's quite a few other bits of bone in here as well and a few shark teeth and really big quartz pebbles. I think they're mostly quartz and the size of these tell me that this wasn't far from shore because these kind of pebbles wouldn't travel very far. They're not like the other places where I go where there's mudstones. The mudstones go very far from shore, deep water. This would have been pretty close and that always means there's a chance there could be a dinosaur bone in here. What I'm going to try and do is I'll use some vinegar to dissolve this matrix around it to release the little bits of quartz and hopefully this bone as well. It's going to be a slow process but I don't think using air scrubs is really going to help. I don't want to damage any of the shark teeth around here. So it's going to be a slow process but hopefully we get a good result and we can figure out what this bone is over here. Thanks so much for joining me everyone. I hope you enjoyed that fossil hunt. It was so good being down on that beach again and finding some great Cretaceous fossils. Quick update on the workshop, it's going great. I've done most of the admin tasks and got some of the displays ready. So it should be open to the public in the next week or two. Stay safe, I'll see you on the next hunt.